Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps or Journal Scraps, depending on the channel you are watching. Okay you guys, I have just packaged up a handmade journal that should have been mailed off a long, long time ago. I will have the link to the flip through of this journal. It's a 70s vintage ebony magazine inspired journal and I absolutely love it. I made it for someone very, very special and just never mailed it off. <laughs> Though I kept saying, I'm gonna do it this week, I'm gonna do it that week, da 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 da. So anyway, as I prepared the packaging, well, number one, I didn't think to do all of this. This all came last minute. And I thought, you know, let me share the process because a lot of you like to make handmade journals. And I think it's a creative way to send something you spend so much time to make. Why not add these additional elements and make the whole unpackaging experience that much more special? I've been using the vintage wrapping paper to wrap my items for years now. I shared that in a video several years ago when I wrapped up some swap items. But I tell you, this whole collage thing, love it. So I'm going to talk about what I used and how I assembled this together. I love how it turned out. I have a model for myself, don't think, create. So this came together really fast and simple. I just used things I had already around and me. And we'll demonstrate using this handmade journal that I made. Okay, so I am a lover of the vintage sewing patterns. I've been collecting these for a long time. And I tell you, you can utilize every aspect of a pattern. It don't have to be vintage, by the way, either. But I love to collect the vintage ones, in particular, those with African Americans on it. I love the illustrated designs. I love anything 70s, and I love to collect the babies. And of course, don't we all love the clothing and the different women that we can cut out and use as paper dolls. Okay, so that's a different story. But what you can do, every pattern comes with a lot of tissue, right? A whole lot of tissue. And I used to save the tissue until I had bags of it. So I recycled it because I'm always buying patterns so I always have a supply of tissue. Well, we will use tissue to wrap our journal. Depending on your pattern or your package size, that will determine what types of tissue shapes that you get. But generally, you will find large sheets of tissue. And I love the sound. <laughs> There's nothing like the sound of this tissue. Now, for this journal here, I think I used a leg, maybe? And it it wrapped perfectly around my journal. But you know what? You can get away with, like, pretty much any size. And I know you guys can't see the full length of this, but this is what I'm going to use to wrap it. I love the color. And speaking of color... I have found different colors of tissue. It normally comes with this soft vintage brown color, but you can find off-white. I think I found a soft pink and maybe another color. So what you do, I'm not cutting this down. Just fold and wrap. Simple as that. Now, once again, my tissue ended up being the perfect size because I actually used a different shape. For this packaging, I used washi tape. But for this one, I'm going to use this packaging tape. Well, it's not packaging tape. I'm not sure what it's called. I got this from Tuesday morning. So what I've done, you can trim off the excess paper, but I'm not going to do that. I like the look of the excess fold it and so I'll simply just do that this back side is cleaner once again because this particular tissue match this journal perfectly this one don't necessarily but it's okay 
I could still, I could add more tape here, but you know, I'm not gonna do that. So this will be the front side of my journal. And to create this collage here is so fun. I once again use things that was closest to me. And what's great about this collage, well, before she opens up the journal, she has all of this to admire, to touch and play with. And by the way, these elements are reusable. So the items that are here, she can use inside the journal. And I love that. Okay, I've added stamping, you guys. You can stamp right on your vintage uh, tissue paper. Take any stamp you like. You probably can't read what this states, but it says a little piece of art created by... And we all have a lot of stamps, right? So you can have fun decorating your custom wrapping. Now, I used Fun Stampers Journey ink. Some inks may not dry on this tissue. You might have to heat set it. So you do want to use a dye ink that will dry. I'm looking at this one and realize if I touch it right now, it will smear. So I'll let that sit for about a minute. And then I used a stamp here that says, Hello Gorgeous. So it's a great way to make custom wrapping paper for all of your projects. And I'll just stamp it like so. I <laughs> love that, love it, love it, love it. Okay, I'll let that dry for a second. In the meantime, Get together what trim you want to use. If you want to use twine, I love this crocheted trim. And you guys, it's nothing to it. You wrap it around. And one of my absolute favorite things to use, I've been using these pens for years. They have different names. The name I know it by is called Artist Pen. Well, I'll take an Artist Pen which is like a shaped safety pin and pin it together. Just as simple as that. And these pins come in different colors, but you know, you can make your own colors. You wanna have it tight enough so the trim don't fall off. And then I'm gonna embellish even more with this beautiful colored, I don't know the proper name for this, but I found this from the thrift store. And when I saw it, you know I had to swoop it up because it's in my favorite color. It's not brown, but it's it's a brown color. A beautiful bronze. It's so gorgeous. And it fits and pairs perfectly with the color of the tissue paper. So wrap it around and just tie, tie a bow. Easy peasy. That's looking good already, right? This by itself is a nice presentation, but we need to add our other elements. Okay, so let's add a button. This button has a shank on it. One of my favorite tools to use, and I did a review video on this, and if you watch my junk journal videos, I use this all the time. It's a tagger, I'll have it linked below. I'll add my button. You probably can't see what I'm doing, but I'm sticking the needle through the shank part. And my button is attached. I love it, look at that. <laughs> okay, we are not done. Let's go ahead and add our note card. By the way, I hand typed on vintage typing paper a note for the recipient. So this don't match, but you know what, you guys? Don't think so much about matching. But all the colors don't have to match, right? If you put too much thought in it, if you're like me, you'll, you'll become stagnated and stuck in your thoughts, and you'll never get anywhere. Okay, so I found this is a perfect size paper clip. And how I wished I picked up more from Daiso... I don't know if I got these last year or the year before. We don't have one in my neck of the woods. So whenever I'm out of town, buy a Daiso. I'll stop there. But perfect size. Well, they came in silver. You can use your alcohol markers and transform your paper clips into any color you like. 
So I just picked a color, not really thinking, <laughs> and these two ended up matching together. I thought, how super cool. When you don't think and create, you'll be surprised how things just come together. So the alcohol ink, it dries pretty fast. And can you see that gorgeous color? And I can make that darker by adding another layer. Simply attach it to your note envelope. And by the way, you guys, this envelope, it's on clearance with Fun Stamper's Journey. I am a coach. I did a review on this. And if you're interested, you could check out my link below. I'm just going to attach it like so. Just like that, right? Okay, so we're almost done, but not quite. And keep in mind, you can add any elements you like. Okay, so I shared another video. It was a chit chat create with me video. And in that video, I made all of these little bits and pieces, odds and ends and snippets from trims that I just, I cut up. Well, to create this little embellishment here, I took a piece of canvas that I cut down and without thinking, just grabbed some elements. And one of my all time favorite, one of my signature trims I like to use is a piece of a trim that I cut down. It had words on it, create, believe, and imagine. Well, I use my tagger, simply tag this piece on, take my word ribbon, also attach that. And by the way, the little tagger thingies, they come in different colors. I just switched, well, I had to add more of these to my tagger. And look at that, nice, right? And if I wanted to, I can continue to add to this canvas. To attach it here, I could use my tagger or I could use another artist pen. So let's go ahead and do that. Once again, these elements are, they're reusable. And then the final thing I added, keep in mind, you can add more, you can add less was I added this alteration tag. And I absolutely love this. And by the way, I will be debuting my Etsy store really soon. I will have junk journaling kits for sale and I will have this tag along with other tags in my kits. But I love this. You can write on both sides. Let me show you what I did here. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I have the date and then I state the type of journal or the name of this journal, 70s Vintage Ebony, and the address is Creativity Lane. I still have to think of a, a, a catchy state <laughs> and country to put there. And it's not a garment. It's a journal. The price, it's a love gift. So it's free. Paid zero. And then under remarks, I wrote shipping way past due. Apologies. And here I used a stamp. Just wanted you to know how special you are. When finished a long time ago, I'll probably go back and write the month I finished this, which was last year, you guys. That's how long it's been, right? I didn't add anything here, but I did use a stamp here. Your thoughtfulness warms my heart and brightens my day. Well, I hope you all have been inspired by my creativity. If you have, why not like this video? Give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe because I have a lot coming your way. Feel free to share this video. Feel free to adopt any of my ideas. I only ask for proper credits. Do give shout outs and do link back to this video. Well, I want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.